Hey everybody, in here. It's way past coffee. I wasn't even going to do a video today, but I am because, well, um, I've been very busy this morning doing stuff with water. I did a big load of laundry. Got it hanging up all over my yard and elsewhere. And it's a good day because it's sunny, it's warm, the humidity is way down. In fact, we've got a warning. Um, it's like a red flag warning telling us not to do any outdoor fires because of how dry it is. Ha! It's not that dry. But I got a big load of laundry done and I've been working on my seedlings. These are all tomatoes. All of the, uh, both of the, uh, what do you call them, beefsteak are coming up. I thinned them out to just a couple in each spot. Um, and I'll thin them out more. I'm just going to wait and see which one is strongest. Um, and the green peppers are definitely coming up. You can see them. Yes, you can see them. Um, these are jumbo jalapenos, jumbo jalapenos, jumbo jalapenos, regular size jalapenos. Nothing coming up in here. Um, and I do have some eggplant coming up. Definitely eggplant. There's another eggplant there. Uh, what is this? Oh, that's an eggplant. Maybe these these four are eggplant. Um, yeah, eggplant. What is this? Oh, that's cayenne. Yes, cayenne is coming up. I think this is cayenne. Yep, cayenne too. Um, and really, basically, that's it. So I took the things off of them uh, just to let them get some sunshine. And um, in about another hour or two, I'm going to put the covers back on so they can develop some heat in there so that they'll do well overnight. So things are coming up. And remember yesterday when I was using my stove in there that's kind of like breaking down and not working very well? Well, um, I, went to the, I went to town just very quickly today and I left Papa and the puppies here and I actually left the door open and they've got like a little doggy door in through the screen door um, so that they can go in and out. I can't do that all the time, but, um, and they didn't tear anything up. They didn't get out of the yard. Um, and when I got back, somebody had dropped me off a Prezi. Look at this. Look at this. It is the same camp stove that I've always used. I love it. It works great. It's 10,000 BTU per burner, so I'll be able to use it just like the other one with my um, pressure canner. And I'm going to set this up and I am going to, I'm going to, um, well, just set it up and cook with it. And I don't know if you can see this over here, on sale for $17. I can't believe it. Now, who this came from is my old neighbor, Denise. Denise is the one that gave me that big, huge water tote um, and countless other things. She's just been great. Um, it's her sister. I've never even met her sister and oh, she texted me and told me she was coming over and I was already going to town and she just left it like by a tree and so thank you sister, uh, Denise's sister. You're wonderful. I needed this so bad. I can decommission the other one. Um, I'm not even con um, convinced that that's safe to use anymore because it's just things corrode after a while. Um, if you don't if you don't take good care of it and honestly I didn't take good enough care of it and if you don't you don't get the moisture out you don't get the oil out um, the the burners break down and the the bottom of the stove breaks down so I'm gonna take really good care of this so hopefully it will last me forever and ever so thank you so very much there's Sonny he's sitting right by me right on the porch he loves to get this spot and when he gets this spot he will growl at anybody who tries to come up next to him Papa's being a good boy, as always. When I was bringing the stove in, he got out, but he was so excited to see me, he came right back into the yard. That's a good boy, Papa. Oh, yes, yes, you're a good boy. And there's my sonny. There's my sonny boy. You're a good boy. They love each other, they do. They get annoyed. And Papa, he will scold them if they get too crazy. <laughs> you're a good boy, Junior. I do love you. I have gone back and forth, back and forth about the dogs, the puppies, many times. And I've decided I'm just going to keep them. Yep. Uh, I'm going to have to take extra precautions. Um, I can't just let them roam free all the time. I just can't. Um, I've got to exercise them. I've got to train them better. Their lack of success so far is because I haven't worked with them enough. You know, 
<laughs> Sonny, what is your deal? He's like, don't get near me. Um, their lack of success is... Uh, puppies don't just come out of the womb knowing what to do. You know, it takes a human to teach them. Um, they are good puppies. They're, they're house trained, although they're outdoors quite a bit. So, um, but I just can't. Because, let's say... I give the puppies away or they go to a shelter or a rescue or something. Papa's just going to be here by himself. He's just going to want to go find other dogs to play with just because that's the way he is. Um, so even if I if I leave for a period of time and I leave him here, um, because if it's somewhere that I can't take him with me, um, he's probably going to be just as destructive as the puppies. One thing, um, going way back, I've always had three dogs. Um, three dogs seems to be the magic number for me because you have usually one dog that doesn't always want to play with other dogs. You've got uh, one dog, another dog that wants to play sometimes, and another dog that wants to play all the time. And so, you know, depending on each of their moods, uh, the, the puppy, which is Junior, who always wants to play, We'll always have somebody to play with because if Papa doesn't feel like it, he can play with Sonny. If Sonny doesn't feel like it, he can play with Papa and, you know, vice versa, any scenario you can think of. And I love these puppies. Um, God entrusted them to my care and they're just very lovable. They love me. And so, yeah, I'm going to keep them. I'm just going to have to work around things and figure things out little by little. So anyhow, um, I'm just going to keep this short today, so that's all I got for you guys today. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching, everybody. I hope you enjoyed the video. Make sure you like, subscribe, hit the bell, and y'all have a good one.